Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Mercedes have made a statement about performance following the Belgian Grand Prix, and will Red Bull run into issues in the second part of the season? Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Mercedes, where Chief Technical Officer Mike Elliott has revealed the team has yet to understand the cause of bouncing in Belgium. Now bouncing is what hindered the team a lot in 2022, although they seem to get rid of it for 2023. But during the Belgian Grand Prix it returned, which in turn affected the performance of the cars. And now Mercedes are looking into why the bouncing came back, Elliott said. It definitely affects the performance of the cars because it affects the driver's ability to extract the maximum grip from the car, it affects their balance, and it affects their ability to get their braking points right. So that's something we'll be working on for the future. The question we need to ask ourselves is, how much of it is just the circuit we were at in Spa, and how much is to be found in setup? Now Mercedes did bring new upgrades to the Belgian Grand Prix, including new bodywork around the radiator inlet, as well as changes to the rear of the side pod as it transitions into the coke bottle area. These were updates to its new concept, which has seen the team ditch the zero pod for a more wider side pod. Now it's not clear if these upgrades contributed to the bouncing, or if it was just a track specific or setup thing that Elliot highlighted. But whatever course it needs to be found quickly by Mercedes, because if it continues, it could compromise their performance, like it did in 2022. But let's move on to Red Bull, where team boss Christian Horner has revealed that the team has turned their attention to 2024. Now as we know the team have a wind tunnel penalty for this season due to breaching the budget cap in 2021, and as a result they've had to be more selective in the upgrades they introduce. And while the team have been dominant this year, other teams have made big leaps behind, such as Aston Martin and McLaren. And with Mercedes and Ferrari also being there as well, Rebel will not introduce any more major upgrades following their last Cypod 1 in Hungary to ensure they're good for 2024. Horner said, With the handicap that we have, we have to really swing our focus over to next year because we have a significant deficit in wind tunnel time compared to our competitors, and we have to be very selective in how we use them. We'll have a few circuit specific things, but nothing that hasn't been done already or committed through the research and development. Now while Rebel are dominant, this could present an opportunity for rivals to close up in the second half of the season. For example, while Mercedes are still behind, Elliott said the team will keep bringing up race to the car to not only help them take second in the constructors, but also help them with their development for next season. McLaren boss Zach Brown also said that his team had more developments coming later on this season, following their impressive leap up the grid. So Rebel having to look to next season while other teams continue upgrading could be bad news for them, and perhaps during the second half of the season, rivals will start to close up. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.